Hi there. If you're new here or if it's your first time seeing my face, a lovely welcome. On this channel, I talk about God. I talk about faith. I talk about all the things that God has brought me through, bringing me through, and how I am certain that God can do the same for you. Welcome. I'm Erica. I want to just thank you all so much for your support on this channel. I really appreciate it. I must apologize for the comments. I was going through my channel and looking through the comments and I noticed on some of my videos, the option for holding the comments, I had done that and now like I had I have comments that I haven't seen for about two months and I must genuinely apologize for that. I'm not going to be prideful and thinking oh your comments do not deserve my attention no it's not that honestly it's just what i'm doing is i'm i'm putting out videos as i believe god has given them to me or based upon what i feel in my heart that i need to share with you and so sometimes literally that's all i do i record the video i edit it and i upload it and i don't think of checking comments and what have you like going in to like <laughs> the back room of the comment section and uh, answering those comments or or checking those because it's like they're comments that are automatic comments that you see in their comments that if you're a youtuber and they're comments that that are held for review and so i think i put that option there i don't know or maybe youtube automatically put it there and so i'm going through it right now as we speak and i'm like oh my goodness i'm so sorry so this is me apologizing to you guys for that and while i'm apologizing there's a video that i also wanted to put out but i'm going to put it out now as i go and hopefully i'm able to share it with you guys the way that god gave it to me along the line of they can't walk a mile in your shoes i was having a conversation with my my children i have two teenagers and i was having a conversation with them and i was just kind of going back over my life with them and just telling them you know uh, about certain things that i wish i had my parents you know telling me or i wish i was raised and i had an adult sort of like breaking it down to me and explaining you know okay the decisions you're making and just maybe give it to me in kind of like layman's terms because i'm not gonna lie to you when i was a teenager i was dumb i i think i was no i was no i, I was like if god didn't save me i i don't even want to think about where i would have been no joke because i had no no sense I, i'm just looking at it and i'm like oh my gosh my 15 year old i guess because of technology these days and i mean i'm not gonna beat myself up because there's so many times that i think about things and i'm like man why didn't i know better and then i'm like you know what god i didn't know better and it's interesting because i know i didn't know better but yet god kept me God could have just said, Man, may I give up on the because she not get it. Our head too tough. Like he could have done that, but because of his mercy and his grace, oh my God, Jesus, thank you. God kept me. I was sharing with them some things and their reaction was, well, I wouldn't do that. And if it were me and then, and I'm like, if you could only walk a mile in my shoe, like I did the best with what I had. I got in some horrible relationships that I know I shouldn't have gotten into now thinking about it. But at the time of going through it, I did what I thought was best. And had I not gone through those relationships, I wouldn't have had y'all. And looking at it, it's like no matter how dirty that situation seems, no matter how much it seems as if you had no common sense, it seems as if you were so silly and that decision you made was so terrible. And you might be having regret. Everything in life, whether you want to believe it or not, it happens for a reason. Because I'm looking at it, I'm like, if I didn't end up going in that relationship, I wouldn't have had my children right now. If I didn't go through that, I wouldn't have learned that to at least get some sort of something from it so that I could hopefully instill it within my children or instill it in one of you. Or maybe just for me, you know what I'm saying? So I learned from that mistake so that way I won't repeat it. Regardless of who is saying you should have done this or you should have done that, you're not God. How do you know what I should and shouldn't have done? Yes, I messed up. I'm not trying to be prideful and haughty and be on nonchalant and say, yeah, well, so what? No, I'm literally saying, you know what? I did the best that I could with what was given to me. Yes, I'm looking at it and I'm saying, man, I was not very wise. I was not smart. And I can admit it now because I see the wisdom that God has placed within me. And I know that it's a million times 
It is wisdom that has surpassed my years because I know that I was, I know I, <laughs> there's situation that I stayed in that I should have gotten out of. And looking at it now, I'm like, I could have left that. There are situations where I saw the red flag and I'm like, ooh, cool, I like red. I could have left that. I could have walked away, but I didn't because I thought, oh, I could fix this one. I, I could do this and I could do that. No, if God shows it to you, it's for a reason. You tell them about it and they have no need or want or desire to change it, then walk away from that because all you're going to do is to cause more hurt and inflict more pain upon yourself. So if you're in a situation right now where people are saying to you, man, you shouldn't have done that. Listen, ask God, Lord, help me. Because there are times where it's like, if we don't have God's wisdom, we're going to do some dumb things. So if you're in a situation, a person is like, yeah, I wouldn't have done that. You don't know. They don't know what they would have done given the, the, the road that you were given, given the task you were given. Because there are certain things it's like, you can't walk a mile in my shoe. Yeah, it seems easier. Yeah, it seems dumb. But if God had placed that burden on you, would have crack it. You'd have, you'd have probably done tickets. They probably would have taken themselves out already. Do you see what I'm trying to say? Yeah, no, I'm not saying that, yeah, it was good for you that you went through that. But to be honest with you, you know what? There's some things that you go through in life that only you can go through it. Because why? There are other people that might be headed down the same path. And God wants you to use your testimony so you can tell others, listen, I did the same thing and this is what happened. How about you turn this way? Or how about you go to God and ask God, Lord, please help me. What should I do here? Because I'm going to tell you something right now, unless we repent and turn to God and, 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 and cry out to him and ask him for help, we're going to keep on looking like Boo Boo the Fool. And I'm just grateful to God that God, honestly, he reached down and he picked me up. I could have been making some more dumb decisions that would have left me more heartbroken and probably at the edge of just God, I'm done. But God decided, hey, Erica, you know, that's, that's enough. Let me give you some wisdom. That's, that's enough right now. No, you're not, you're not going to do that anymore. No, no, no. And I believe that once God sees our heart and I, our desire to actually want better for ourselves, he'll help us. Please, again, don't let others belittle you because of the decisions you made. You made some decisions that you're not proud of, you're not pleased with. But as long as you look at it and you're like, you know what, God, here's my life. Make of it what you see fit. Do with it what you see fit and help me to not repeat those same mistakes. God will work with that. So don't feel ashamed. Don't feel condemned because people are looking at you or saying to you, oh, yeah, I wouldn't have made that mistake. Oh, if I, if I were you, I would have done this. I would have done that. Yeah, but you're not me. Yeah, but you weren't on the same path. Yeah, you didn't have the support I had. I had no support. You had support. Regardless of what you had and what you didn't have, you know why you made the decisions you made. Now, don't beat yourself up about it. Get up. But before you get up, right where you are, repent. God, I am sorry. I don't want my life to continue uh, going the way that it's going. If you have children, Lord God, please... Let me be an example to my child or my children. Don't make me make the same mistakes, Father God, please. And God will hear that. But a lot of times I feel as if when we're down on our face, we feel as if, oh, you know what? I'm going to get myself up. I'm going to dust myself off and I'm going to do this. We can't do anything without God, actually, without crying out to God and turning to him. Because what's going to happen is we'll fall right back on our face if we don't ask God to pick us up. Because only he alone can pick us up when we are down, when we are down, out, and out on our luck. If we don't go to him, if we don't run to him and seek him to be our refuge and our fortress, we are going to feel we're going to stay down. God will pick you up if you truly want him to. He will pick you up. And he will wash you, make you whiter than snow. He will allow all things to work together for your good. He said, if anyone is in Christ Jesus, behold, old things have passed away and all things have become new. In order for things to become new, you, you need to realize that you don't want to be the same person you used to be. And you genuinely need God to change you. And honestly, that is the only way we will see change in our lives. We can't do it on our own. The only thing we can do is repent. I hope this video was an encouragement to you. God bless you and by his grace.
you stop by for my next video. Until then, take care.